Hello everyone, and welcome back. Went up and bought a new thing of beef melt today. Tomorrow it's time to set the traps out again, and give it another try for mud bugging 2017. All right, everyone, well, got my beef melt here. Let's get some cut up, get it put into some little nylon bags, and uh, go set some traps. By putting this in these nylon little, now all this is a piece of just a nylon stocking. It does keep the minnows at least from eating away on it right away. Okay everyone, let's go set three traps and see what happens. It's been real nice down here almost the whole time I've been down here. Uh, a lot of 80 degree days, we had a 90 degree day last week even, so water temperature should be fine. It rained quite a bit here yesterday, so hopefully maybe the water's up a little bit. I'm just gonna sign into the WMA. Well, now I'm all checked in. I ended up talking to an older gentleman that was there uh, about crawfishing and he had to take out his hunting license and fishing license and show them all to me. Real nice guy, so a little bit of time spent there, but uh, everybody has their tips and I learn something every time. So I'm pretty much going to run these in the same place. I'm starting way down here on this end to see if the water has went up any. It looks pretty much the same. I don't know, might be a little higher, but I've seen it much higher than that. I'll grab a trap and let's get one thrown in there. One down, two to go. Go over here to Old Reliable. That water is still really low. One more to go. This last one, I'm gonna put it up here, well, kind of by where that big power pole is, a little bit on this side of it trying to stay off the main drag even you know when I went in there to sign into the WMA that one older gentleman come up and talked and then by the time I left there was two other people that were going to fish off the bridge so it gets a lot of traffic in here with this nice weather so I'm gonna keep mine off the main drag Well, that's all three traps. We'll come back tomorrow morning. We'll check these and see how we're doing. Well, it's about 24 hours later. It's uh, right now. It's about 10:30 in the morning. It's already about 78 degrees outside. It's warm, so we'll check those traps and see if we have any better luck than last time. This is the first time I've been here where there wasn't people fishing out here on the bridge.
got a few nice ones in this one here. I actually think last time when we put a trap down here we didn't get anything, so I'm going to pull these out and get them in the little cooler. Look at the size of that one monster in the corner there. Holy man, that's a nice one. So that's five for this trap. I did bring some more beef melt. I'm just going to throw some in there, not bagged, and uh, throw this trap back in. If you guys see here where it's hanging in there, there's still a bunch of bait in there also. Looks like only one in this one. Last time we did the best in this one, but this water is really low and got a lot of that green slimy stuff all over. Nice looking one. two in this one but at least we got some in there this one used to produce a lot I'm gonna throw in that uh, other piece of beef melt in here and toss it back in well only eight for today but it's a start I'd like to get enough of these so that I could just just boil them in clear water and then uh, we could throw them into like a salad or something like that so we'll see what we end up with tomorrow everyone well we'll be back out tomorrow morning and check them again it's about 24 hours later I'm running out here now we'll check these traps again and see how we did Well, I got three in this one and they're really big and that's still telling me that it's still a little bit too early. Not getting any of the littler ones. I mean, these things are huge. Look at the size of that one. So I have nothing in this one, but what's really weird is now the bait that's still in that nylon type little bag that I made, that's still in there. Remember yesterday we threw fresh beef melt that was not bagged in every one of the traps. The other one, it was gone. This one, it's gone also. So I don't know, I'll throw this one out again overnight since there's still some bait in there. Let it sit one more time. Well, that trap had seven in it, so that's a total of ten today, and that one had smaller ones in it, so I guess I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> this one also still has that raw piece of the beef melt in it, too. I'll leave those traps in for one more day anyway here, see what we get. You know, when I was watching this last weekend, I was watching a Louisiana outdoor type show and uh, they were out catching crayfish or crawfish and they were over on the Pearl River. Anyway, I was watching them when they're trapping and some of the traps, they would only get five, six in there. I mean, sometimes they'd get 20 or a little more than that in a trap. And you guys have watched me up in Minnesota where I've pulled well over a hundred out in one trap. 
but with those guys, even if you're getting six in a trap, they have 30 traps out, well, that's what, 180 crawfish. So if I had a ton more traps out, uh, we would be doing quite well. Okay, everyone, well, like I said, we'll be back out tomorrow morning. We'll check them one more time. Well, I'm headed out to check those traps right now. Uh, I'm gonna pull the traps this morning. Tomorrow we're supposed to get, I don't know, it's in between one and a half and five inches of rain, and I don't want to have to be driving way back in that field type area after that much rain. So we're gonna pull them today, and we'll find out exactly how many we got. Looks like we got three bigger ones and one smaller one. Nothing in this one again, and the bait is still in the, the sock thing, so I don't know. This used to be such a great area. Maybe it's just because the water is so low. Only two in this one. Well, that's only six for today. That's not that good, but with yesterday's and the day before, I have plenty of them to uh, get on a hook and go try some catfishing. I'm just gonna run down here and sign out of the wildlife management area. Okay, everyone, well, thanks a lot for watching. We didn't do all that great, but uh, we've done a lot worse, and they're definitely picking up a little bit. Hopefully I'll have the time to uh, run the traps out one more time before I head back to Minnesota. So I would stay tuned for that. That would probably be in about a week, week and a half. We'll see you guys on the next video.